There is this trend on YouTube that's been going on for a while where people are calling out tech channels for the courses that they are selling and exposing them that they are scamming people and whatnot. And I'm all about that. I'm all about exposing people if they are lying, if they're scamming their customers, especially when it comes to education and if people are not delivering on their promises and if they are denying refunds from their customers. But that has gotten to a point where it grows into a YouTube Logan Paul drama where people are using that to grow their channels and they're calling out people for no reason and they're attacking people with no proof whatsoever. And the other day I saw an ad or excuse me, a video just like that where a guy was roasting another guy that was selling a programming course. And again, I'm all about exposing scammers and people scamming other people, but just because someone has created an ad, it doesn't mean that he is a scammer. One of the things that was pointed out in that video is that if you advertise your course where you hype it up a lot, you appear like a scammer. And I understand why is it like that. That's because of Ty Lopez, trend on YouTube and all the people who follow him. But if you don't advertise your course, how are people going to buy it? Just imagine, you seeing me in an ad where I say, oh, I have a course that's really great. It has helped a lot of people and it can help you. Just click the button and enroll. Would you enroll in that course if you see that ad? Even if the course would help you learn? No, definitely not. So that's how advertising goes. That's what people want to see. And besides, think of it like this. Imagine you going to the doctor and you have a problem. You need a cure and the doctor tricks you into giving you a cure. Is that a problem? Would you be mad about that? And isn't that what parents and doctors are doing to their kids as well? They trick kids to give them medicine that will make them feel better. Now, I'm not saying people should lie in their ads, but of course, someone is going to hype their course up because he believes in it. He thinks it's good. It can help you, especially if he has a proven track record of helping people. Of course, he's going to hype that up. How would you buy that course otherwise? If he just appears and says, hey, buy my course. No, you will not buy that course. So someone just hyping up their course while they're advertising it doesn't make them a scammer and doesn't make that product a scam. Another thing that's been pointed out in this video is that if you appear in your ad and you show your revenue or your show money that you earned, it's like you're saying, hey, enroll in my course and you will earn this much money. Just for the fact, because I'm a marketer as well, but my ads are a little bit different, of course. I don't believe there are people in the world who believe that if you say, hey, enroll in my course, this is much money how you will earn. I don't believe there are people like that. And again, I never seen an ad that said explicitly like this, hey, enroll in my course, this is how much money, or I guarantee you will earn $10,000 per month in the next three months. I never saw an ad like that. I'm not saying there aren't any, but I never saw it. And besides, again, going back to this time in, in the world we are living, people want to hear that. People want to see ads like that. But does that mean that I'm saying it's okay to lie to people in their ads or in your ads to get them to buy? Absolutely not. But again, if I appear on my ad and I say, hey, I have a nice course, just enroll in the course, even though the course can help you, you are not going to buy that course. As long as you're not promising something that you can deliver, then it's okay to advertise it. If I appear in my ad and show you my revenue and how much money I earned and I say, hey, enroll in my course and I will teach you everything I did to get to this point to earn this much money and that means potentially you can do that too. If you put in the work to make that happen, does that mean I'm lying to you? No, of course not. If I deliver on my promise and that is to teach you everything I did to get to the point where I earned that money. But if I say, hey, enroll in my course, I guarantee you will earn this much money and I don't deliver on that, that's what's considered to be a scam. Another issue that I want to address here is the claim that you should not buy online courses because you can learn everything online for free. And this is 100% true. You can learn everything online for free, but at what cost? Because everything has a cost. It took me more than a year to learn how game development works. Whereas my students, people who I help to learn game development in my courses, learn how to create games in a time span from three to six months, in some cases, even two months. And especially nowadays in the world where we live in, everybody wants a quick fix. Everybody wants to learn something quickly. Well, if you want something quickly, if you want the shortcut, 
I'm going to sell you that shortcut because you also get my support and you also get a shortcut by following the videos that took me more than a year to learn everything that I did. I put all that together in one place. Whereas if you go to learn all that for free, then you will have everything scattered online, all over the web. You will not know what to learn. You will not have anybody to guide you. Okay, learn this, then learn that. And you will not have support along the way. So if it's not worth it to pay a couple of hundred bucks or I don't know, whatever the price is to cut out half a year of time, one year of time learning that I don't know what is. And that's why I sketch when people say like education should be free. No, education should not be free because it took me days, weeks, months, years and a lot of sweat, a lot of money invested to learn all the skills that I have learned so that now I can give them away for free just because, you know, education should be free. No, you should reward the teacher for all the effort that he has put into to learn all the skills that he's teaching you right now so that you don't have to go through the same things that he went to learn all that. And one thing that I found out on my personal example is that if you give things for free, people will not go through with those videos. They will not go through the course. Even a lot of my YouTube tutorials that I put out for free that's the type of content that a lot of people are charging online, charging money for you to watch. I put that online for free and yet not that much people see those videos. And another thing that I cringe about is when people claim that education should be free, but then you see all on their page, Patreon, support on Patreon for me to make these free videos. Dude, it's not free if you're if you want support from your audience. Free is when you don't get a dime. And because we are people, I'm a human being, I have bills to pay. I need money to live, you know? That's why I am charging for my courses and the software that I'm using to edit the videos and the time that I invest into creating the videos, editing the videos, it takes a lot of time that I can use that time to earn money somewhere else, but I will not be able to provide that course for you for free to watch. Especially when you see my videos that have seven hours of content, eight hours of content, that takes a month to create, record, edit. That's a lot of time for me to give out for free, you know? So that's why I charge for courses and a lot of people charge for courses. And that's why education should not be free because it takes a lot of time and well, I have to live, I have to eat, and I have to, bills to pay and whatnot. And when it comes to education being free, why are universities not free? All those people who are claiming that education should be free, they go to universities, they pay thousands, tens of thousands, and even hundreds of thousands of dollars, especially if they live in USA, to go to college. And we all know how large the student debt is in USA and even in Europe, it's not different. You pay a lot of money to go to college and what's even worse is that after four years, when you finish the college that you're going to, you don't learn anything. The college does not give what they promise you that you will get. You don't gain the skills, you do very little practical things to gain the knowledge, especially in the field of programming and development. Does that mean that colleges are scam as well, especially because they take a lot of money from you? Another major issue with online courses is the price. People are charging $300, $500, $1,000, and that appears to be too much. But again, going back to what I said, people invested weeks, months, years to learn all the skills. They went through sweat and hard work and the money they invested in to get to the skills that they are now selling you. So it's only fair for them to charge the amount they deserve. Wasn't Michelangelo or Picasso, I believe, when a woman came to him and said, paint this picture and he paid in a picture in 30 minutes and he asked for a lot of money and she's like, how you paid in a picture in 30 minutes? And he said like, yeah, but it took me 30 years to be able to paint a picture in 30 minutes. So he's basically charging for all the years of experience and everything he went through to paint that picture. It's the same with online courses. I'm giving you a shortcut. Well, this is how much I'm charging for that shortcut. Also, how much money are we all spending on things that we don't need, like buying iPhones and other expensive phones that cost thousands of dollars and can do the job that a $200 phone can do? Or even buying takeouts when you can buy food cheaply at a grocery store, way cheaply. Or buying video games. And I know I'm a video game developer. I'm not saying that 
buying video games is a waste of money. I'm just comparing the more important things in life, especially when it comes to buying something that can improve your life, improve your skill set, get you a career that you want, get you to earn more money. So just comparing the more important things, but I'm all about game development. I play games. Also, how much do you pay for college? As I already said, thousands and tens of thousands of dollars. And at the end, you don't learn anything. So you waste money and you waste your time. And most of these courses, well, all of them, offer money back guarantee. Is there any university in the world that offers a money back guarantee? Like all the money you spend for four years where you learn and you don't get a job, can you get that money back? Go to a university and you say, hey, I learned here for four years. I didn't get a job in the you know five years since I finished college. Can I get my money back? No, you cannot do that, but for online courses, you can. And how would you feel if, let's say, you spend four years learning something, you get the skill set, and you go to get a job, and let's say you're asking for 30K per year salary, and the employer is like, no, 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 you're charging too much. I'm going to pay you 5K. How would that make you feel? Especially when you know, when you know that you're worth that money. Again, I have nothing against people who create these videos where they call out other people, but please provide proof and facts. Otherwise, we're just creating a trend where we are having this drama, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, and whatnot between tech channels on YouTube. What's next? Creating a boxing match between Awesome Tudes and Brackies? That'd be cool though. But I'm all about exposing people, especially if they're scamming people, not refunding money, not delivering what they're promising, but with facts and proof that they did it. Otherwise, it's just getting in an endless loop. So these are my two cents about online education, tech YouTube and tech channels on YouTube. And this is the part where I'm going to promote my courses where hopefully I'm not going to scam you. So uh, check them out. They helped a lot of people. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, don't stop now. Keep learning. Click on these videos that are on my side that are specifically selected for you. So just click on one of these videos and continue watching.